Postural responses are a vestibulospinal function that integrates visual, somatosensory, and vestibular information. This function plays an important role in the development of posture responses. From about two months of age to four years, the child is visually dependent for posture responses. So that means that they actually use a lot of their visual system and their eyes to give themselves information as to whether they're upright, leaning sideways, where they are in space, that kind of thing. So from two to four, if you have postural or gait disturbances, we really need to be sure that these children have had their eyes examined. That doesn't necessarily mean if they have 20-20 vision or not, or vision accuracy. It's actually more of how they use their vision. And a developmental optometrist are ideal for this type of assessment. Then, from about three years to six years of age, somatosensory contributions start to play a part, and they assist the visual system in determining movement, posture responses, balance, writing reactions, and ways in which the body achieves stability. Therefore, if there's an impairment in some of this sensory reception or sensory processing, or even in the response to the information, if there's an impairment in the visual or somatosensory systems, then that could also be evident with some kind of gait disturbance, and often that gait disturbance is shown as a toe walking pattern. By six years of age, children begin integration of vestibular system in conjunction with the somatosensory and visual. So vestibular input is very important when it comes to balance, stability in space, both dynamic and static. If there's an impairment in vestibular functioning, reception, or responsivity, then that also can show up as a toe walking gait pattern when really the cause is the vestibular system as opposed to the muscular system. So if we were to take a child who walked on their toes because of vestibular issues and just address it from the symptomatic musculoskeletal shortening, then we'd be missing the true etiological cause of that gait pattern. This is a problem in the future because the gait pattern is likely to, re to return because the true cause, i.e. the vestibular dysfunctioning, was not addressed in the beginning. And then at about seven to 10 years of age, this is when children transition to more adult-like balance reactions. We can still intervene and we can still make some positive changes with these children who are toe walkers. However, the potential for change is significantly less from about seven years of age onwards. <music>